Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to discuss infogans, that is interpretability, the meaning of interpretability or explainability in gans. Let's get started. So we'll start by understanding one of the key concepts from a paper named DC gans. that is deep convolutional generative adversarial networks now this paper was revolutionary in its own sense because it explains a very beautiful idea which was not there before gans and the idea is and the idea is that if they take noises and they try to learn the difference between noises and the distribution and then they try to fit that noise on a new image and then they generate new images from it so i'll try to tell you uh, what i mean by that so if you look here here are some images which have a smiling woman and here are some images which have neutral woman so what they try to do is they take the smiling woman um features or images and they try to subtract this image with a neutral face in a hope that neural networks actually learns um the noise in the image and then they try to generate new images by feeding in the noise as well as a new photo so for example it this photo was fed and this neutral was abstracted and the noise was learned and then it was added by the neutral man and then neural network uh, started generating new images of a smiling man similar thing can be seen by man with glasses and man without glasses so it's a, a feature space or a representation learning so the paper is trying to do unsupervised representation learning okay i'm trying to simplify or or i'm trying to put forward my understanding if i am wrong it's a blog so you know you can feel free to correct me in the comments below so here is our features or images with a uh, man with glass and then there are men without glasses so again we subtract that we take our arithmetic mean of it and then we and then we try to add that with woman without glasses that's new images in a new image set and when we concatenate both actually concatenation is not the right word because uh it can have some different meaning as well um so when you when you add these two features you get woman with glasses so neural network actually learns um that there is a noise extra noise which is present in um in in both of these features that is men with glass and men without glasses so that is the glass is the noise which is there and when it tries to concatenate that noise with a new set to generate images of a of woman with glasses so so it's so it's quite amazing thing which gans uh, which which dc gan does now my work was to understand the meaning of interpretability in in gans so i am I, i will try to explain my findings and my understandings i'm not really sure if uh, you will agree with me on this so feel free to you know reason with me logically in the comments below so this was a paper um by open ai uh where they try to learn um interpretable they try to do interpretable representation learning uh by information maximizing generative adversarial nets so it sounds very complex but the paper is beautiful because the idea is very simple and it's the same thing which is in maths um one equation is is a beautiful equation proofs are beautiful right similarly papers are as well a uh, beautiful so i find i found this paper to be very beautiful because because they take a idea which is very very simple and the way they have then applied their you know amazing brains to put that idea into practice in gans in the world of gans that was like commendable so the um so before we go there i'll try to give so this is a paper i have you know marked everything here so i'll i'll read from here that there are a few terms which we should know Uh, while going through the paper and that is something known as disentangled representation so disentangled representation basically means that a separate set of dimension for 
every attributes is allocated uh, in, in the in the in, in the in the representation learning for example facial expression can have a different dimension uh, eye color can have a different dimension hairstyle can have a different dimension so that if you try to tweak one dimension you can actually see or you can make the changes in the uh, uh, in in the gan so they try to learn something which 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 is interpretable so you can say okay i want let's say more mustache or i don't want any facial hair or uh, facial expression you, you you want a different type of facial expression so i should be able to to uh, tweak that particular dimension in the matrix and then you should be you should be able to get the new images which are generated by gans they try to learn it uh, the that is that this type of representation is basically known as disentangled representation um in which you know one explicitly represents the salient attributes of a data instance and it is very um helpful for relevant but unknown tasks now um we know that you know a lot of progress in the world of generative modeling is actually done um uh, by gans and variational autoencoders so what uh, they try to do is they uh, in this paper they basically focus on learning interpretable features by maximizing the mutual information between learnable uh, and meaningful uh, sorry they try to maximize the mutual information between fixed small subset of gans noise that is the difference between which we saw in the dc gan paper and the observations which turns out to be relatively straightforward so um what they do is they basically say that the min max loss function which so gans basically play a min max game right with uh, the discriminator they try to minimize the maximum error which can be uh, generated so uh, by uh, discriminator and generative networks so in this particular consider this as a loss function a simple regression loss function consider it like that for now so what they say is that they will add a regularization which will do the same type of work which a normal regularization do when you add that in your loss function so what does a regularization do if you add that in your loss function job of regularization is to do two things as far as i know one is obviously you will say that you know uh, you want to reduce overfitting and all that's great but if you remember lasso regularization lasso regularization actually reduces the coefficient of all the constants talking about linear regression or logistic regression it tries to it, it zeros down all the um constants uh in the features which are not required or which are like you know less relevant so lasso regularization does feature selection for you so that idea if you if you know that idea if you have read your you know tikhonov's theory of regularization and stuff even if you just remember this particular fact that lasso regularization does feature selection for you in normal machine learning world that precise idea is there in the paper where they try to put a regularization term which will help you to choose the right interpretable features only now what will that term be that term is not going to be lasso or rich that term they have designed and that term is represented by information theoretic mathematics okay so basically uh, they say that um this particular thing that the information between um the mutual information between the code and the uh, output generated by gans by feeding in the noise and the code is uh, will be your uh, the regularization term that is the mutual information between them the mutual this particular thing will be added as a regularization term is added in the regularization term of the loss function this is the precise idea of the paper and you know this is a short video we won't be going into like too much details i just wanted to highlight the crux of the paper and this beautiful idea that what exactly infogan is so the meaning of interpretability as they have understood in this paper their take is that we will try to learn this entangled representation and how will i how will they uh, push it forward or how will they you know force neural networks to do it rather than learn some hazy you know some crazy features is that they force neural network by adding a regularization term think of it in the similar way i'm just repeating myself that 
what the job which a lasso regularization does by that is the feature selection similar type of um, concept is there when you add in mutual information between uh, the variables in, in, in GAN okay now uh, what exactly is mutual information uh, that is the amount of information learned from the knowledge of a random variable y about the other random variable x so I mean I, I'm not going to explain information theory here maybe I'll have a you know separate video next time so the idea is that the in mutual information should be very high now if you just look at this particular um, equation if this is high the loss will be low right so if the mutual information between uh, the latent codes and the generated distribution is high then the loss will tend to be in the lower side of the graph so that is the idea in the infogan paper that is how they force the neural network to learn uh, properly now uh, like in the next section of the paper they have explained that in practice it is very hard to maximize directly uh, the information um, constant or the information term uh, which they have added at the end because it requires a posterior so they try to um, remove it by adding a lower bound by finding a lower bound of the function so they have found a lower bound of the function we we will not go to details of it if you don't remember this is basically KL divergence which they are trying to do let's ignore it for now the idea is that they have found a lower bound and HC here is taken as constant this lower bound um, the, this technique of lower bounding the mutual information between the latent codes and the generated distribution is known as variational information maximization so that they have added and then the new equation is this which they try to uh, minimize or they try to maximize this particular term okay where lambda is obviously your hyperparameter so the equation is very similar and that is why I said that this paper is like amazingly beautiful because the idea is what we already know of that is um, you know adding a regularization term because you are forcing your network to learn something uh, which you want it to learn that uh, you do the same thing right while if even if you do ridge regularization or lasso regularization uh, put your uh, answers in the comments below that what exactly is ridge regularization what exactly is lasso regularization so that idea they have taken and they have forced the neural network to learn interpretable features that is the disentangled representation they want the neural networks to learn and how they have done it they have uh, used information theoretic concepts that's great that is what this paper is and i mean you can read more um, in the paper but according to me this was um, this was the precise idea of the paper adding this term or if even if you try to make your GAN uh, info GAN it won't add much to the computation so you know info GAN comes free with GANs that is what they have said in the paper here so so I mean that that is what uh, my idea was and I'm exploring the uh, world of explainability and interpretability of you know more I'm getting into multitask learning and the meaning of representation learning or explainability there uh, trying to find some literature if, if that's available if you know of some papers please feel free to recommend those papers in the comment below um, I'll be coming up I so this video was you know it came very late because um, because I was busy I, I, I mean I was doing something else with my life I was making some progress in other spectrum of uh, in my life which was great um, I might update you guys in, in, in the coming videos not today um, so yeah I am planned I plan to have a series of lectures where I'll speak and I'm also trying to revive my podcast so those two things will be done soon uh, so make sure that you subscribe so that you get a notification whenever a new video comes up so that's all guys Stay tuned. Bye-bye.